Hello and welcome to your reading for the Aquarius New Moon on February 11th, 2021. So if you're not familiar with these moon readings that I do on this channel, we are going to be doing a four card reading for the general public. And then after that, we're going to dive in deeper with multiple cards from the Wild Unknown Tarot to really get the feel for what this Aquarius energy is going to be like for us. So you can feel free to watch the first half of this video, which will be online for free. And if you want to go deeper, you can head over to my patreon.com backslash Michelle Shea and join the full-time fortune teller tier to get access to these extended readings as well. So without further ado, let's dive into the cards. We're going to start with a little Total Betty Goddess deck pull. If you don't know, this is a deck of my creation. It's for sale over at michelleshaywalker.com as well as on Etsy. And it's 90s icons playing the different goddesses. So we're going to dive in to see what goddess is presiding over this new moon in Aquarius energy. Not only do we have the moon in Aquarius right now, but we also have multiple other planets and an asteroid that are also in the sign of Aquarius. So when there's more than three planets in a single sign, Sign that's called a stellium and basically that just means that the energy of that sign is extra extra potent so we have extra Aquarius energy right now so you might be feeling a little innovative you might be feeling a little rebellious you might be feeling a little counterculture or anti-establishment kind of wanting to break off and do your own thing and that's totally normal so if you're wanting to express yourself in some way creatively artistically it's a really good time for that the energy is really thick for that during this new moon especially and then when the moon starts to move out of it we still have that stellium because there's still plenty of planets in Aquarius so utilize that energy to your advantage so our total buddy for the moment is the lovely Venus played by Alanis Morissette. So I can't think of a better goddess as far as the 90s icon goes to represent our energy. So Alanis Morissette is a Gemini, so she's not an Aquarius, but she is an air sign and she very much has sort of like a hand in all kinds of different areas of knowledge and of course a very creative, very passionate, very uh, channeled artistic energy. If I were to have a dinner party where I can invite five people to, Alanis Morissette is always on my list. But to dive into the goddess energy of this moment, the one that she represents is Venus. And we're all pretty familiar with Venus, more so as the goddess of love than as the goddess of money and creativity, which she also is. So the arts are really, really thick in the air right now. So whatever your form of creative expression is, whether it be music, whether it be writing, whether it be doodling, whether it be painting, whether it just be, you know, like scribbling on a piece of paper and getting your aggressions out on the page, that's still your art. So however you express what's within you in the external world, definitely make time for that during this new moon energy and during this Aquarius stellium energy. Because not only do you need this expression that you want to create, but someone else in the world might need it too. It's kind of crazy how we just assume that we are solo isolated experiences and the second that we express our art and share things with the world we realize that many other people are feeling the same feelings and having the same experience as us and they relate to the art that we're creating so also don't be afraid to share maybe it's not online or in a public forum but maybe it's with just a friend whatever you create share it with at least one person that you trust and see if maybe you can feel a little less disconnected through bonding over what it feels like to express your art and to express these emotions. So we're going to dive into three cards for the general reading. And this is just going to be a past, present, future from the Vessel Oracle deck is what we're working with. So we're just going to get some emotion buzzwords to kind of tell us what we're moving out of and what we're currently in and then what that's going to allow us in the future. Okay, so we are moving out of a past of self-doubt. So it's a beautiful thing to be moving out of and it's also a very Aquarian thing to be moving out of because the Aquarius energy is very much the individualist, very much like being able to go against the grain. So there is a lot less of that 
worrying about what the outside world thinks. There's a lot less about second guessing yourself. It's, it's really about finding that inner voice, that internal expression that you have to share and really just embracing that and moving forward in that energy without worrying about what it's supposed to mean to other people. If it feels authentic and good to you, go with it. So we're moving away from that self-doubt. So we're really embracing that inner confidence. We're moving into a present energy of truth. So that makes sense. If we're moving away from doubt, we're starting to discover the truth. So truth right now in this moment, I believe, is really getting honest about what you're feeling inside, really getting honest about what your experience is and allowing yourself to, again, express it in whatever form really works for you. And maybe the way that you express yourself doesn't feel artistic, but it, it is. <laughs> Expressing emotions in any form is going to be artistic. So whether that be that you just open up a voice memo on your phone and rant for a little bit, that can be your art as well. So don't get too hung up on the art if you don't consider yourself a creative or artistic person. It's just expression. Expression of your authentic truth without the doubt of second guessing yourself or wondering what the outside world is going to think about that. Then because of this Aquarian stellium energy, we are moving into a future of support. So what these cards are telling me, it's very much echoing sort of what I riffed on with our Venus card and talking about creativity in that you're coming from this place of being like, oh, I feel these things, but I have to keep them bottled up. I have to keep them myself because like, I don't know what the outside world is going to think when I express this then you're coming into a present energy of truth and allowing yourself to find the outlets to express that truth and you know create the safe space for yourself don't jump into the deep end if you don't feel ready but find little nuggets even if it's just journaling at night that can be your expression of truth for the moment and eventually as you start to find the courage to share it with the rest of the world you're actually going to find a lot more support than you might have thought you would have and it's probably going to come from uh, unexpected places uh, something coming forward for me from a reading that I've had from uh, an intuitive friend once, which is like, recognize that sometimes there are silent supporters, especially if you're active online. There are people that are, are admiring or watching what you're doing from sort of like the shadows and they may not be the ones that are like constantly like you're commenting, but that doesn't mean that you're not influencing them and, and making a difference with your truth by having the courage to share it. So I really hope that you feel protected by this arc of energy and you find a way to express yourself. Again, we have that Venus energy in the air to kind of help us move through this, to help us find the courage and the beauty in the world around us so that we can express things that maybe even feel painful in a beautiful way. So if you want to dive into a little, you know, music archive and listen to Alanis Morissette, that's a great person to listen to, to really feel that just because something's painful doesn't mean it can't ultimately become beautiful and then just because your struggle feels like just your struggle doesn't mean that the world won't relate to it so that's the perfect goddess for this expression of this arc of finding the courage to express your individual experience and let the rest of the world react to that from their own lens and realize that you're not alone even if it's different experiences that everyone's having, the emotion behind it can be really connective and we can find a way to come together on that level, even when we're coming from different backgrounds. So I hope this reading served you well. Again, the ones for the public are a little bit shorter. So if you wanna go deeper with me with another 10 cards from the Wild Unknown Tarot, the rest of this reading is gonna be over at patreon.com backslash Michelle Shea. Three different levels over there. The first one gets weekly pick a card readings and access to the monthly tarot scopes. The second one gets audio messages and rituals from me every month. And then the third one gets access to these extended videos. And the higher the tier you go, the more access to everything beneath it that you have. So if you're interested in that, head on over. And if you are watching this on Patreon, the rest of this reading starts right now.